concerned, they exhibit now, and that party was the National Party. Question number three, Willow Jean Prime. Thank you. My question is to the Minister of Finance. What recent announcements has he made about Budget 2019? The Hon. Grant Robertson. Mr Speaker, as widely signalled, Budget 2019 will be New Zealand's first wellbeing budget. We have identified five core priorities that will define this budget. They cover the areas where we think the outcomes will make a substantive difference to both our current and future wellbeing. One of these will be mental health. This coalition government will finally be giving mental health the priority and focus it deserves. This will see my ministerial colleagues working together to produce initiatives that are squarely focused on long-term intergenerational improvements in mental health. Supplementary. Why has the government made mental health a priority? We can no longer track our success as a country on just a narrow measure such as GDP growth. We are moving beyond GDP to look not just at our financial health, but also the well-being of our people, the health of our environment and the strength of our communities. Mental health is an obvious example of an issue that has a significant say in our overall well-being. What makes our approach to addressing it different is that by making it an overall priority for the budget, all ministers and agencies are expected to identify how they can contribute to it. We will be breaking down the silos of government and finding a new way of working which will see, for example, education, justice, health and other areas working together for long-term mental health outcomes. Supplementary. What are the other budget priorities? The full detail of our budget priorities will be revealed during the budget policy statement on December the 13th. They will include sustainably growing and modernising our economy, lifting children's wellbeing and, as I've already said, giving mental health the focus that it needs. I can also assure the House that as part of our wellbeing budget, I will still keep a close eye on our finances and a steady hand on the economic wheel. We owe that to future generations. But we also owe to them and to all of our communities the chance to live fulfilling and meaningful lives and to be valued more than just as numbers on a balance sheet. Question number four, the Honourable Mark Mitchell. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the...